Are you trying to put a drain into the bottom of the container and you don't want to crawl inside or maybe can't crawl inside? Well, this is an EPDM rubber gasket that has threads on the inside. And this is a quarter turn ball valve. Ball valves allow way more water to pass through them because of the opening on the inside. Most of the other gate valves or the ones that have the red handles and they're called hose bibs sometimes or boiler valves and they unscrew and screw back down again. This is a much less complicated product. Literally there's a ball in the inside and it just rotates. It's got a hole through it. So when it's open, it allows the water to pass through. And when it's closed, obviously the water's not moving through. Now, you're going to drill a one and a quarter inch diameter hole into your container. Please keep in mind that this rubber gasket needs to sit flat into that opening. So make sure that any raised area, like burrs or raised edges, that you take a file or maybe if it's plastic, you can take like a, a razor knife. Don't make the hole bigger. You just want to round out those edges a little bit so that you don't have a raised edge that this can't sit flat against. Now it's EPDM rubber, so it's extremely flexible. I would highly suggest if you're going into plastic, for instance, or some other thicker materials, use a little bit of soapy water and that would allow for less friction. Uh, sometimes you may need to actually pinch it uh, to get it down in, in size a little bit so that you can push it into place. Once it's in place, this triangular portion that is on the outside after you've pushed it in, we call that a thumb tab. That allows you to place your thumb on it as you spin in your quarter turn ball valve. Now on the ball valve itself, you'll notice if you look a little clo more closely, that on one side we have threads that are closer together and on the other side they're farther apart. The ones that are farther apart are going to be the ones that take your garden hose attachment on it and the other side, with the finer threads, are going to allow you to screw this into here. As you screw in, what happens is it expands the seal into place, and that's what gives you your watertight seal of this EPDM rubber threaded seal in its place. So again, very simply, these two parts are what are going to allow you to place that drain into the bottom of your tank very easily from the outside of the tank. Don't have to crawl inside to install this. And this is the 511.